Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, August 6th of the year 2022. I'm in my garden. I'm sure, as you can see, I don't know what you can see in the background. And today I'm just going to do a quick garden cleanup. I want to start prepping back here for the fall. A lot of things, if you can tell, have overgrown and has run its course. And I'm ready to clean it up, make it nice and neat and pretty again, and get rolling. I'm looking at a big old pile that I'll show you later on. I did chip drop. So really quick, early this year, I um, signed up to do chip drop. If you don't know what that is, it's a free service or you can pay $20 if you want it to, to the arborist. And what they do is if they're in your area and they're already cutting down trees, you can say, you're going to go online, put in your address, your phone number, your email, whatever contact information you have. And if they're around, whatever job they're doing, um, they'll load up their dump truck and drop it off at your house, wherever you put in the comment section, like whether you want it in the driveway, on the front lawn. I didn't have them come in my backyard because I didn't know, A, how big the truck was. And did I say A or B? <laughs> whatever. A, I don't know how big their truck is. Two, <laughs> I, um... I just don't want nobody in my backyard, especially my, only my youngest daughter was home or on her way home, just dumping in the front, whatever. Mr. M was a little bit annoyed, but I wasn't there to direct them. I wasn't here to open the gate for them. So it is what it is. So what Mr. M did was um, bring home a, um, what's that piece of equipment? It has a bucket. Is it a skid steer? Whatever. He and my daughter, my youngest daughter, they got the pitchforks, shoved it, shoveled it in a bucket, and he drove this big old truck. I think I might insert a picture if I still have him doing that. And they just put it back here in the backyard so I don't have to go from the front yard, backyard, front yard, backyard with a crap ton. I think it's approximately 20 yards of um, mulch. So on chip drop, they will ask, do you want logs, wood chips, or both? I don't mind if there was a couple of logs in there i would make it work whether i use it for firewood or depending on how big the log is like little stools here and there i'm going to use whatever resources are available available to me especially if they're free so and if it's free it's for me if it's legal uh, <laughs> so that's what i was looking at back there i do see there are some pieces of grass that's when he was scooping it up in the front lawn now, when you get this chip, uh, this chip drop, it um, it will have leaves in it, and sometimes they'll ask you, are there certain trees you want to avoid? I'm not an arborist, um, so yeah. When I clean this out little by little, as I stated in one video before, I am currently a watermelon farmer at this point. So I have. I have my knife and I have my gloves. All I'm missing is a Jason mask, but we're gonna start chopping down um, this overgrown corn. Okay. Hopefully y'all can see me.
right? So <laughs> when I took down my sunflower, uh, when I took down my sunflower, I actually took down two of my Star of David okra plants. I did, I don't know if I was able to show it in the video, harvest uh, one carrot. And here are three more little smaller carrots right there. Um, if I still had my rabbits, I would give it to my rabbit. Can you see? I don't know if we can see him or not. But he's there eating away. Um, I don't know if it's anyone else in here. That part got broken off when I um, cut down the sunflower. But now I'm on patrol for tomato hornworms. And I hope I don't find any more. So I'm going to get going and do some more. And then I'm going to pick some more black eyed peas. I'll come back and show you that. And then we're going to wrap it up. It is now almost a week later. This is August 12th, Friday, August 12th. And I have finally made it outside to my garden since the last clip that you've seen, which was Saturday, August 6th. And I am 100% overwhelmed. That day, I could not finish because I think like I shared I had a party that I was hosting at my house and that Sunday I don't even know what we did I think we just recouped it wasn't that bad like we weren't like wasted or nothing like that it was just I was tired anyway and the rest of the days of the week had gone by with my son's football practice is that a toothbrush oh no and let me just show you how out of order and out of control this garden is. So look at that. That watermelon busted. So the chickens will eat that. I need to harvest that one, that one, definitely this one before this burst. This is like freaking prize winning melon at this point. These green stalk planters will be moved to a different location at some point. Just not today. I have to do this in baby steps. Whoo, chow. The Malabar spinach is growing nicely and vining really nice. I think I'm going to harvest these watermelons and I am just going to pull them out. What the freak is this? I don't even know what that is. I'm gonna get a trash bag, cut that off, yeah. It's time to get rid of some things. I am gonna see if this will work, if I mount y'all right here on my little windmill. Yeah, this is a lot. I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm 100% overwhelmed. I'm looking around because I thought a chicken made it inside. But I like feel so overwhelmed. It's all right. You know why? Because I prayed for this. I prayed for abundance. To sow and reap and give. So it's all good. I'm looking at a flower that my um, sweet potatoes have. I want to say thank you all. All the comments and everything from... The video when I visited Mr. Watson, he, he called me uh, two days ago. He was like, wow, you know, thank you so much for making me a star. Just being silly. He's really a great guy. Um, one of his daughters also commented, uh, I don't know if I can say her name, Kadari. Sorry if, I, if you didn't want me to say so. But his daughter commented and one of his sons, Dakari who is my sister's BF, Habu, <laughs> um, he commented they were just extremely grateful for the documentation of Mr. Watson's garden. So to you all who have liked and commented on that video, thank you so much from Mr. Watson. He says thank you. His family says thank you. Okay, now before this dies out, let me get going. All right. 
So I'm going to harvest this watermelon that busted and my chickens are out roaming around and free ranging. And so, oh yeah, baby girl been ready. So the chickens are going to love this. Let me put some gloves on just in case, just in case this is a prize. I'm going to put some gloves on. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull out all these watermelon vines. I think that's going to be step one for today. Uh -oh. <laughs> the little thing scared me. I'm such a scaredy cat. I don't know how I'm a gardener. I'm a scary gardener. Okay, what I did, I just grabbed the watermelon and threw it across the fence. It busted open. Have at it. If the chickens find it, wonderful. Um, let's see. Let's move everybody here. If you can see me, wonderful. I hope you can, because this is going to fall. I really need to get a good setup for this, because whatever I rig together, my battery's about to die. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just go ahead and harvest these watermelons and uh, just let it go. This one, I broke the vine a long time ago, so I don't even know what's in it. Now there's a strong aroma of melons <laughs> in my backyard. Because I need to clean up and make space for the fall garden, right? Here's another one, another one. <laughs> And whatever's not perfect, it'll just go to the chickens. Look at that. Like, I really hate to do this, but I have to make space. It's time for the fall garden to get in. So, this battery is dying out. I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to try to post it up on my phone. So, let me get back to y'all. <laughs> okay, so now it's obvious in true fashion that I can't even finish what I'm doing because now I have to stop and take my daughter to work at the last minute. I'm sorry, I don't know if it's a bug on my back or I don't know, or it's just sweat rolling down my back. Oh, that's better. So I think I'm gonna stop the video here because, and just do a part two to it because this is insane. I can't get rolling. I have to now shower, take a nap, so I can get up, get dressed, and go to work tonight. But I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. I keep showing y'all. Let me show you my harvest. And then I'm going to show you my tomatoes. It just frustrates me because these stupid bugs are all over them. And y'all like, oh, gosh, girl, you and them stupid tomatoes and them bugs. But then I have flies all over the place. Like, why do I have flies? I get off at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I think I'm going to have to just get up early and come out here. And it's going to be hot. Let me just show y'all what I have. This is my harvest. And I'm using my phone right now. But these are my peppers and some of the okra I was able to get off and some um, 
These are Trinidad Scorpion Peppers. They're hot. I put them in my um, rice and some soups that I make. And I don't cut them. I just put the whole pepper in. If it bursts, it's hot, but it's not that crazy hot. Um, these are my watermelons. Like I said, I just want to harvest it all. And I have another watermelon somewhere. I don't know where it is. And these bugs get on my nerves that are all over my tomatoes, just having a field day. You see them? It's a whole, oh, what is that? A caterpillar. Wonderful. But it's a whole crew of those bugs. They just all over the place to the point where I just want to open the garden up to the chickens and let the chickens eat it and I'll handle it later. I think those are called some kind of leaf footed bug. These, I just need to peel these. I mean, these beetles. Oh, hold on. Can we see? You see the Japanese beetles right there? It's a gang of them on a tomato. I think I'm just ready to pull this all out, honestly. Because ever since this, the trellis broke down, because it was nothing but net. Ow! I played ball, nothing but net. <laughs> But this was nothing but net and some bamboo and tea posts. Once the bamboo snapped, I'm not I'm not dealing with this. I'm gonna cut this all down and whatever I can salvage, I can salvage, clean this up, and just get ready for the fall.